Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a dragonfly collab, and this one's hosted by Judinka Nail Art. Today, I have already got my manicure started with this beautiful base, and I started this manicure off with my um, normal stuff, Nail Teaks Formula 2, and then this Glam Polish. I've done two coats of it, and this polish is called he who must not be named, and it's a Harry Potter reference. And I topped it off with Posh Top Coat, so it would dry down. And we're going to do some stamping, and I'll be using Bennell Monsters Beaching Nails BMXL 204. I'm going to use those little cattail looking images up at the top. And I'll be using this plate, which has got the multi dragonflies on it and it's um it was one from like born pretty and i'll also be using the mash plate number 41. my bundle monster monocle stamper my mou london scraper and i'll be using nicole diary silver ns04 and ns02 which is the black stamping polish and this is queens and it's a rocking metallic and it's called golden delicious so let's go on and get into it I'm going to stamp these cattails on a couple of nails in black first. And I know you're thinking, this makes no sense, Tina. But it helps the other color pop a little bit. So I went ahead and did it. It might be a unneeded step, but that's okay. I was having fun doing it, so it's all good. And now I'm going to go in with that Golden Delicious and go right over the same image. Just kind of hard to see with dark on dark on, on there, but you know. We're going to shoot for the best. So there we go. So we've got those on that finger tip on that fingernail. And we're going to do that one again. It's very same process. We're going to start with the black. So I'm putting that image on my pointer and my pinky fingers. And I am cleaning my plate off with pure acetone in between. And I'm cleaning my stamper off on the lint roller. And there we go. Plop that on there. And now we're going to get that plate out of the way. And I'm going to fold this napkin over because we're fixing to change plates and colors. Clean off my MoU card. And I'm going to use the mash plate first. And I'm going to use the silver polish to do this single dragonfly on the nails I've already started. Just using a little piece of tape to get off that excess because I don't know how, how how messy I could get. I don't want any any extra stuff on my design. And I'm just kind of making him look like he's kind of landing on the cattails. I'm going to do that again for my pinky nail. I hope he fits. Sorry, I'm out of focus again, out of frame. Oh, he is going to fit. Look. Yay. There he goes. And then I'm going to use this one. And this is the BP. I think it's BP 14 or 24. I'll try to I'll try to make a note of it down below in the description box. And I'm putting this on my ring finger and my middle finger. Just a bunch of dragonflies bunch of silver dragonflies just flying all over the place. And like I said, this is a collab. I will have links for all the other um, channels down below. I would love for you to go check them out, show them some love, give them a thumbs up. And if you're not already following them, you might want to think about it because these are some really talented ladies here. So I'm doing a little bit of cleanup with tape, and that just cleaned up like a dream with that tape. So happy about it. But the ninny in me is going to make me break out the cleanup brush because I always do. Whether I've got a mess or not, I just have to do all the steps. So we're going to do some real quick cleanup real, real fast, and then we'll head on into wrapping this one up. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today I'm going to use Posh Top Coat to finish this design off and seal in that stamping. And I'm just floating that over the images. 
hopefully not smearing anything. Capping my ends to make sure that it kind of hangs on there for a minute. And I think once you add the top coat, it just kind of brings it all to life. The under color is popping. And I do, at the end of the video, I will have swatch photos of this in the glossy form and also in the matte form because I really couldn't make up my mind which way I wanted to go with it. So I ended up doing both. <laughs> there we go. All to done. Yay. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm glad that it turned out the way it did. Um, you know, I had lots of ideas, so I had to pick one and stick with it. And this is the one that ended up winning this go around. So I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear what you think. Leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear what you guys think about my manicures. It's a sounding board. Sometimes I can get more ideas for maybe a future mini. So here we go. It is finished. And here is the glossy shot. And the mattified shot. So don't forget to go check out the other videos. That's all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.